Hello. Hello. How are you today? I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. Good, good. Did you have a good day? Yes, it was a good day, but from the afternoon to this moment, I have been with a headache or I don't know, something, something weird. Okay. <laughs> Does that happen frequent to you? No, no, so often. Okay. You know, when, when I get headaches, it, that are usually, you know, I never get headaches, but when it happens, it's because I haven't had any coffee. You know, like I've been mm -hmm. really busy and I forget mm -hmm. to drink my coffee. So I said, oh, I, I, got, a, I got a headache. And then I remembered that I need to, drink my coffee ah, so, and when you drink the coffee immediately the headache not immediately appears. not immediately but um a few minutes after i feel much better ah, yeah. okay okay i have heard that yeah and some people say no it's a psychological thing but in my case mm -hmm. i need to have strong coffee uh and it, and, and i use it as medicine it works. Uh, Hi, good evening. Okay. Hello, Mario. Caffeine. Yeah, caffeine, caffeine. <laughs> okay, so let's begin. Welcome back, everybody. What is today's date? October 28, 2012. October 28. Imagine, October is gone. Yes. yes. Do you remember the time we were speaking about Children's Day, October 1st? Remember that yes. class? Yes, I Imagine. remember the class. Yeah, yes. and now it's like three more days and October is gone. Totally. My, my goodness. But anyways, uh, do you remember yesterday's topics? The topics we covered yesterday? Yes. Okay. We are talking about if we are a typical or different kind of yeah, right, <laughs> right. We were discussing whether you guys were a typical Salvadorian or a different Salvadorian, right? Yes. So a typical Salvadorian, you know, we wake up early every day, we go to work, we have a family, we love pupusas and other, other few things. Okay. What else did we do? What else? Mm. We talked about the technology or something like that. Okay, let mm -hmm. me remind exactly. you. In the uh, speaking part, it was about the... Yes, I think we were talking about the, the technology and how we use it or something like that. Okay, uh, we were discussing uh, vocabulary, adjectives, verbs, expressions that people use whether to accept or challenge uh, different points of view. Do you remember that list? No, I don't. Uh, let, let me see this here. Maybe it was, that it was in a different group because I remember that yesterday we were practicing the speaking part most of the, of the time. But I, I don't know if I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> let me let, let me see. I got this uh I got this somewhere here. Uh but I forgot where I left that document. So we were we were we were um discussing uh terminology that people used uh when ah. When, Sorry, you know what? Uh -huh. <laughs> I was confused because I was not in the in the class yesterday. So oh, I was talking about Monday. I was talking about Monday. Yes. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Good. So yes, uh, I gave you an image with vocabulary about verbs, adjectives, expressions that people use uh, when they accept or they challenge other people's point of view so yep 
Anything else? Any questions about yesterday? Any comments about yesterday? Oh. No? No, we are good. Okay, so let me show you. This right here. Uh -huh. All right, can you see my questions uh, right there? Okay, the first question says, when friends move away, do you keep or do you stay in touch? Uh, volunteer to read the second example, the second question. When you are stressed, can you keep things in perspective? Very good. Uh, someone else read the number three. After studying all night, how do you stay awake in class? Good. Next one, anybody? Do you? Do you ask for help? It's hard to keep, keep, keep up with the class. Okay, very good. <laughs> Someone else with the next uh, um, question? Do you break the rules? Uh huh. Do you break or the do rules? You keep, uh, keep, keep out of trouble. Okay, good. Now, uh, next question. What? Uh huh. Anybody? What students can do to keep their grades up? All right, good. And the last volunteer, please. Is it important for, okay, go guys. <laughs> uh-huh. Anybody. Is it important for all friends to keep or stay in touch? Okay, good. So here we are practicing uh, expressions that we use when we are using keep uh, or sometimes stay. Uh, are the questions clear? Yes. Any questions yes, yeah. about vocabulary or pronunciation? Um, no. No? Okay, so um, let me make the rooms. Five rooms, create. Add, and we're going to move this person here. And that way everybody has someone to speak with. So discuss the questions, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Give as many details as possible. Los Angeles or United States, if you keep in touch, if, if you uh, uh, you always uh, speaking speaking with, speaking with him, 
speaking with ah, him or okay. chat with him or something like that. Ah, okay, I understand. Uh, um, some frame, some frame for for sometimes they they don't speak or don't they chat mm -hmm. because. Um, I I I had a a coworker. She she was very very good person, very good friend here. But someday she decided to move to Canada. Mm -hmm. But when she was there, well, um, she she did leave of from the Facebook. Um she I think she she forgot forgot me. I don't know why, but uh, some people uh, do do that. Mm. Yes, I understand you. In my case, uh, probably with uh, co-workers, I don't have that uh, the stretch being cool with uh, with a, like a friend. so but when a, when a friend, for example, I have a friend who, who flown three years ago to Houston, Houston, Texas. Yeah. And we still chat uh, in Facebook or Instagram. Uh, act Karenia. Hi, uh, we don't have the, the questions that we are oh. going to talk about. Maybe if you can send the image to the group. Sure, please. I didn't send it. Uh, oh yes, I did. I wasn't in the group. Oh, wow. okay. Give me a second. Okay. All right. Because I cannot see it because I wasn't okay. before. Okay. Sure, sure, no mm -hmm. problem. Okay, thank you. Uh huh. Let me send. Um... It's not the same, the same group as we had before. Mm, I don't think so. It's a different one. Uh, okay, because I'm not in, in this. Did you receive it? No, I'm going to try again. If you, yeah, or, 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 or are you using a computer or a cell phone, Jesus? Now oh, oh, oh. I'm in a computer. Okay, so you can, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so you can take a screenshot. Como hago para tomar el screenshot? So what what brand is your computer, um, Jesus? Dell. Dell. I have yes. a Dell and I use um, the key with the four dots. You know what I'm talking about? Like the like the signal they have in uh, Galerias Escalón with the four dots with the four parts. Irenia, what's what's the name of that, that key? Computer. Which one? Uh, the one with the four things. Mm, I don't know. Let let no, let me. Este okay. quiero tomar el screen. Let me see. I don't have that that key in my in my keyboard. Ah, uh, it's not that the Windows, uh, the Windows. Okay, symbol. can you can, can you see this? Can you see the the picture? <laughs> this one here. I don't know if you can see it. No, I cannot. No. No, it's blurry. Okay. I'm anyway. trying to find it in my in my laptop, but I cannot find it. Okay. But the Cause... thing is that I I already took a picture. Oh, Maybe you did. Okay. Uh -huh, uh, wants to practice with that with that question. Okay. I have them. Here. All right. Good. Yes. Okay, Jesus. If if if. Let me see. Ah, it's here. 
Hi, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, can you hear us? Jesus, Jesus. Maybe she's having connection problems. Now, now I hear you. Okay, uh, good. Okay. If you want, uh, we can practice the the speaking part with this. The teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Fine, thanks. You Fine. are the late comers. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Sorry. Uh, did you receive the image in the WhatsApp chat? Ah. Yes. Okay. That's that's yes. the image that we're discussing right now. Okay. All okay. right. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me let me see. All right. Mm -hmm. It's important for all friends to keep a stay and to, to keep or stay in touch. I think that yes is very important. For me too. It's very yeah. important uh, to keep in um, to stay in touch with my old friends because always I need uh, about days. Yes, I have a friends for 25 years. 25? Oh, really? Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, science, um, no. Desde? 13? Yeah. Since. Since. Since the uh, eight years. You were Since a little girl. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Was she your neighbor or your classmate? My neighbor. Okay. And and after he he was my my classmate. Okay. Oh, it's a yeah. it's a guy. It's a man. Yeah. <laughs> good. Good. And where is this person now? What? Where is the person now? Um, uh, is uh, he living in Santa Tecla? Oh, okay. Yeah, right. yeah. But I, I keep, I keep in touch. Okay, good. And I see frequently. Oh, okay, good, good. Yeah. You live in Soyapango, right? Yeah. Okay. In Soyapango. All right. Yeah, Marie. A, even or not, I have uh, finished the the, the the things that I need to study or read or whatever I need to do. I the last hour I I'm going to be awake will be 12 a.m. No later than 12. I need to be in my bed, lights off, laying laying in my bed. That's the thing. Yes or yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, let's see. let's see. The next question will be: Do you ask for help if it's hard to keep up with a? Yes, when you are stressed, can you keep things in perspective? This is the first question. Uh huh. What do you After... think, Cecilia? Uh, 
Um, maybe, mm, more or less, because, mm -hmm. because when I have the stress, mm -hmm. uh, it's very difficult for me. Uh, it's very difficult for me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I see. I, I know. Me too. Let me... Yeah. Uh, okay. After studying all night, how do you stay awake in class? <laughs> drinking I, coffee. <laughs> uh huh. Drinking. No, I uh, energetic drink. Mm -hmm. ah. uh, I I drink energetic uh, drinks. <laughs> really, you awake. you drink energizers? Energizers <laughs> drink because it, for me it's it's too hard. I mean. When I, for example, to, tonight I'm gonna uh, work all night until tomorrow. So uh -huh. if I want to 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 to, to keep a week during mm -hmm. the day, I I, I drink a, an energizer. Uh -huh. well, yeah, you know, and doctors they tell you to be careful with with energizers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they do. Doctors they... do. But I don't have to say I don't. My pressure nah, is 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 low. I mean, is ah, your my blood pressure, pressure, ah, blood pressure. Is, is usually is uh, is in low levels. Okay, it's so normal. when I is maybe it's not or lower than the than the normal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe. And then uh, when I drink the energizers, I I my, my I think that my 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 eyes open, my <laughs> eyes open. <laughs> so so mm. I, I don't know, but I, so far I haven't I haven't feel any consequence. any consequence. I mean, no, I don't feel like uh, uh, anything. I just uh. I just feel awake. I just okay. Feel awake. Okay. In my case, I drink coffee. If I want to stay up, I drink strong coffee, and it works. Yeah. Yeah. I do. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or if you if you <laughs> can, you can sleep at least five minutes. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's, that's okay. It. So you have a like the I don't know the human talent says you are you you have a emotional intelligence yeah. i think so because i have a a lot of peace i think so <laughs> but nice. the, uh, the other people that was talking with me or trying with me and they don't how you say uh, they don't look uh, about my level of stress so mm. i i think that i can handle very well and I, sometimes it's, it's better because, you know, in the group or your, in your office, mm -hmm. and the, when the, you have a different uh, discipline, uh, how do you say, uh, multiple, uh, how do you say, multiple, personal, multiple, 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 uh, perso yes, personalities, multiple uh -huh. personalities. Uh -huh. You need uh, every kind of personality, yes, because uh, they have to to support or to help what kind of solution they are looking about. Right. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. I ask you. Yes, I am having you any. In the chat, I I send the uh, the word acquaint acquaintance. 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 Yes. Yeah, acquaintance. You know, it's a uh, people get confused sometimes. Like uh, acquaintance is the same as friends, but they're uh -huh. different words. Yeah, but but is. Can can use acquaintance 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 for acquaintances acquaintance for acquaintance yes acquaintance. acquaintance yes acquaintance for talk about 
more friends, but no friends, uh, sir. Not close friends. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right. Right. So I have a lot of acquaintance and, and some of them are not considered uh, friends. Like, Hi, how are you? You know, like my neighbors, you know, like oh, yeah. acquaintance, but. Okay. Yeah. So it happens. Yes. Thank you. Okay. And many think uh, I don't understand, <laughs> but now I, I, I feel better. Uh, okay, it was a, a a little complicated to to complete some of the of the tasks because of the structure. I think. Yes, that was and the you, problem. And you need to keep your your orthography. Your spelling. Uh, your spelling, yeah, your spelling, and and the uh, and the dots too. The mm, question okay. mark and all this punctuation, punctuation, punctuation. Yes. Right. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, Jesus. Let's move to the other one. That is, do you break the rules or do you keep or stay out of trouble? I prefer stay keep because I I, I think uh, break the rule is is not convenient. Okay, so you stay out of trouble. I Procrastination is the way to have your grace down. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, the and, other thing. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Tell me, Rosie. And, and the students should uh, sure. ask any, any doubt or any question that they have about a signature or about, uh, no, about a, a subject. Subject. Subjects uh -huh. and and if if they have a, a question, they have to to look for the answer, whatever. Uh -huh. And 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 if if they have a quiz or an exam, they have all all the solution that they. <laughs> I I I. I I tried to do this when I was a student. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. uh, for me, uh, students mm -hmm. uh, have to keep a, a schedule. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they have to plan a schedule yeah. and, and comply it. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. it, it is important for all friends to keep in touch? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, time is, is over, Rocio. Yes, See you. Yes. All right, all right. Any questions or comments about what you guys were discussing? No? No. Okay, so no. let's go to our next activity. Um, what is the expression that you use when you want to express things that you did in the past but you don't do anymore? Um, I, I regret. I used to. I used to. Used to. Yeah. Okay. What is oh, a synonym yeah. of used to? Uh, 
for example, you said, oh, when I was a kid, I would I study will. in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. I would study in the afternoon. Or yeah, I, I can say, I when I was a kid, I used, I used to study to. in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. So would and used to are synonyms mm -hmm. when you want to talk about uh, activities that you did in the past, but you don't do anymore. Or mm -hmm. vice versa, things that you didn't do in the past, but now you do. Mm -hmm. So let me show you, you have seen this in the platform. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes, of course. Okay, so past habitual with used to and would. And would. Okay, I need a volunteer to please read the information that we have there. Used to. Okay. Used to and would can both be used to describe past actions or situations which are not uh, I can see the which are no longer are no longer mm -hmm. however wool cannot be used with stative verbs such as live uh, be have or like okay thank uh, you now uh, what Mario just read you know it says however would cannot be used with stative verbs such as live so that is the grammatical version but in a real life situation you can use it and uh, except if you're taking an exam or an evaluation, they will correct you. But in a real life situation, you can uh, use it and say, well, I remember when I was a kid, I would live near downtown. Um, when I was a kid, I would be scared uh, for Viejos de Agosto, for example. So you can use it. All right, uh, another volunteer to read the examples, please. Okay, you always, you always used to make a, make me laugh. Okay. Glasses didn't used to be so difficult. Mm -hmm. Remember the way we would sit around talking? Talking, uh-huh. I would see some great jacket, but you wouldn't let me buy it. Okay, good, thank you. All right, um, are the examples clear? Any yes. questions about meaning or pronunciation? Yeah, what's uh -huh. the meaning of stative, stative verbs? Stative verbs, like uh -huh. live, be, have, or like, like things that are not actions or not actions, but um, corporal things, like live, be, have, or like. That's what they mean when they say stative. Mm, live, okay. I would live, I would be, I would have, I would like. All right, um, any other questions? No. Okay, how do you say niñez in English? Childhood. 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 Now, it's time to talk a little bit about your childhood. So I want you to go back in time, go back to your childhood, the place where you grew up, the crazy things you used to do, and share with a friend. And let me see this here. Oh, the airport. Yes. Passengers of the Someone flight. is at the airport. <laughs> Oscar. Oscar. <laughs> right. Allow him. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to uh, assign you to work in Paris again and talk about your childhood. Did you have a crazy childhood, uh, an unusual childhood, and, and things like that? Or you don't want to talk about your childhood, you can talk about your teenage years, which, was, which is more recent. So it's going to be your decision whether you talk about your childhood or your teenage years. Here we go. I love you.
open, please. Turn off that light. Thank you. In your childhood. I live in San Salvador, in Ciudad Delgado. Okay, and you said that you worked. Yeah, I work uh, since the 11 years old. Very early. Okay. Yeah, help, help, help for my mother. Help uh -huh. my mother. Right. In different, okay. in different activities or the um, prepare food. Okay. Uh, yeah. So Sorry. you you learn to cook very young. Mm, so so. <laughs> You're a good okay. cook. <laughs> I I I I can I learn to cook overall atoles. And mm. typical, typical food. food. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Can, can you make? Chico? I think. Yeah. Chuco atol de lote. Chuco is my favorite, is my favorite. Chuco is my favorite. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, with good. I don't like it. Yeah, with beans, <laughs> with lots of beans. And the natural I'll, I'll hot sauce it. they make, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really delicious. With bread. <laughs> yeah, fresh bread, fresh uh, French bread. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. They they give us a present or oh, a, okay. uh -huh. no, no present. How do you say awards at the end of the school when you finish the this year yeah. school? Yeah, a prize. A prize. Okay. They give us like a how do you say crayolas or crayons? <laughs> school crayons. material. School material. School material. Yes, that was my. Uh, motive, my main motive, how to achieve that. Yeah. Uh, my mo uh -huh. yeah, motivation. Yeah, your motivation, right. How to get uh, something like that. <laughs> uh -huh. I, I like to, how to say, participate. Participate. Participate, participate uh -huh. in different activities on the school, like uh, maybe in September, or maybe and I remember uh, all the 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 friends uh, mm -hmm. had a, a cycle very fast in order to the dog don't don't catch. Uh -huh. and, and one one child uh, uh, was on a hall in the street and and go, go and he down. And the dog took the, the niece and all the uh, another child very scared because uh, we said the dog eat the, the, the child, but the old neighborhood around that uh, isn't outside the house and, and help us for that, that, that boy. But very funny when I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> But the, the, the child need to go to a doctor and put the 21, I remember the... Injections? Uh, injection uh, near to the... What to the say, ombligo? Uh -huh. Yeah, the belly ah. button. The ah, belly okay. button. Belly uh, button. Uh -huh. And very, very... Muscatan Singo City. In this moment, nice. I live in the... Cusca and Singo City. Uh, okay. Are you from Cusca, Cecilia? No, I am from the Santa Tecla City. Oh, okay. But 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 I live in the Cusca and Singo City for um 20, 20 years ago. Okay. Mm. Cusca and Singo has some big houses, spacious. Um, I don't, I don't understand. Uh, Cuscatan, I don't... Cuscatancingo has big houses. 
Ah, yes. Yes. Has yeah. big, big house. Yes. I, I, I have an uncle that he lives in Cuscatancingo and he has uh -huh. two houses in one and each one of the houses, they're huge. I mean, so he has a lot of space there. <laughs> yeah. It's very good. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Yes. So Cusca, it's a, uh, they, they got big houses. Yes. Mm, all right. Yes. And, and I, I have three. I have free to, to go out and I, I, I enjoy my childhood. I from see. 12, from 12 years old to 13. When? I start to work in. Okay, now it's, it's different. Now it's different. When I, when I was a teenager, I used to play basketball. And in in your school team? Oh, not not uh, at that level, but I used to play a lot. Okay. I'm not so tall. I, I didn't play in the school team because uh, I'm not so tall. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or oh, you used to play with your neighbors, I think. Uh -huh, the neighbors, but at the school, I mean, at the in the at at noon, at noon we had a, a one hour break, so we were playing the the whole hour. We were eating the lunch actually with the with the basketball, and the ball in in one hand, and in the other hand my bread with the <laughs> <laughs> my food. Uh huh. We used to do that. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. What what year did you graduate from high school, Oscar? Um, 1992. 92. 92. Okay. We used to we learned to I learned to play them to have a I mean to have a teamwork. Okay. Because I I used to play with the the other my co your classmates my classmates my classmates. Some of them were tall and they were like, uh, they play at the colegiales. Uh, they, play, okay. they play at the, at the school. So, uh, teamwork really okay. works on, on, on basketball. What school really did works. you attend? I was at the Ricaldone. Oh, okay. I used to, I attended, uh -huh. I attended the, uh, my, high school, my high school at Ricaldone. Okay, good. What about you, Jose? Where did you go to high school? Uh, I went to high school in the Enco. Enco. Okay. With the white and green Enco. uniform. The uniform was white and green. Uh huh. I think so. I remember. Uh huh. They used yeah. to. They yeah. used to have a good uh, soccer team. Okay. They used to have in the in the colegiales. They have a. a, a, a they they have won. And they were at yeah. the final. They yeah. At the final many times. They uh -huh. changed the color of the uniform. What is it? They changed the years. They changed the years. What they year? Studying the color. Okay, what year were you in ENCO? 1990. 1990. 1996. 96. Yeah. Because the universe changed to beige. Oh, beige. okay. okay. Yeah, I remember ENCO. Yeah, I remember ENCO in 1985, 1986. They used to wear a white and green uniform. Yes. I remember that. You know. Yeah, yeah. In Ricaldone, they have like white and brown, I think. No, it was white and green also. Really? I have, but it lasts uh, until, let me check. It lasts until maybe the, until, until 2000. Okay. Now they just wear a, a, a t-shirt with the Ricaldone logo. 
Okay. In, in jeans, in any jeans and tennis, and and the sport. Also, they they sport. let them use uh, uh jeans. Yeah, they they do. At oh. least I I believe it's a black jean. Okay. Yeah, like I it, think so. They, I they think allow so. to to wear a black jeans and a t-shirt with the with the logo, with the school logo. Uh huh. And and the sport uh, shoes, and sport shoes. Yeah, all right. Good. Uh -huh. Interesting. I remember those years, like the mid 80s. I uh -huh. used to go to the gym uh, to Gimnasio no. Nacional okay. to, to watch Liceo Salvadoreño, Cervantes, Don Bosco play basketball. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Those, uh, those nice, those nice years. Games. Nice years. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so, uh -huh. uh, what do you, teacher? Uh, well, yeah. did, did you play any sport when you were in high school? No, no, I never played any sports. Uh, what I like doing, you know, obviously, like 35 years ago, uh, I like to swim. And uh, uh -huh. for, a, for a couple of, like, maybe a year and a half, I went to the gym. I like weights okay. and, and, and swimming, but I never practiced anything uh like at, at a higher level. A higher level. Yeah. Me, but me neither, me neither. I I used to play I mean basketball and soccer too. I I, I play soccer but I'm not at a high level, not a not a school team, not on in a school team. Okay. But, but still I did some sports. Right, I did, right. I did some exercise. Okay, good, good. Mm -hmm. All right, let me visit another room. Before, we have, before no, the, the, I think that advanced has six, six levels. Six levels? Six, uh huh. Six levels. Okay. And at the end, I think that you you can make the TOEFL. But I, I think that we have to study that for, for, for past this, that exam. Have you ever taken the TOEFL exam? Ah, teacher. Yeah, well, at the end, probably we are thinking that it's part of the certification. Right. Yeah, they mm -hmm. give you a uh, TOEFL preparation. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, they give you TOEFL preparation. It's a very nice exam that evaluates how much uh, the person understands the language, you know, listening, mm -hmm. grammar, and reading comprehension. Mm -hmm. And this is paid. The exam is exam sixty is sixty dollars if you take it in Centro Cultural, mm -hmm. um, because they have two versions: the one that is paper based, that's sixty dollars, and mm -hmm. uh, there is the the other version that you take it in a computer, which is a uh, hundred and sixty, I think, and it's very wow. uh, very demanding. Expensive, uh -huh. right? Yeah, I I I, I guess. Uh -huh. So every For time that you take the exam, you need to pay. Uh huh. I know. <laughs> but but the certification during only one year. Two years. Ah, uh, two years. Two okay. years. Yeah. So yeah. every two years you need to take the exam mm -hmm. if you want to have updated uh, score. You know. That's true. So they ask you, okay, bring. Have you ever taken the TOEFL? You said yes. When did you take it? Three years mm -hmm. ago. They they no, ask you to take to. it again. Mm -hmm. And TOEFL is the certification used uh, for students? No, uh, uh, no, TOEFL is an exam that you take uh, and it tells you how much the person understands the language. So, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So with, with that certification, um, they, they have an idea, an estimate of mm -hmm. how much you, you, uh, you're good with the language. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right.
All right. Uh, I was listening to some um, interesting stories that you were sharing. So, you know, when you go back in time. Okay. Um, any questions or comments on how to use um, used to or would? Oh, teacher, I, I feel un uncomfortable using would. <laughs> referring to the to the custom in the past right yeah so so uh, is is it is it really uh, how to say useful or or no not necessarily remember that when you're speaking the language you use the vocabulary the structures the phrases that you feel comfortable with however other people uh they use wood a lot to talk about past events so uh, the idea is like uh, you said, uh, I don't feel comfortable using a, a wood. Fine, don't use it. But you need to be able to understand when another mm -hmm. person is, is using it and telling you uh, events about things that already happened. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay, anybody else? Let's go. Questions? Comments? No? Okay, no. so I want to thank you for your time. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, same place, same time, 8 o'clock. You guys have a good night. Thank, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye.